Hey guys and welcome back to yet another top 5 Pokemon video. So today we'll talk about top 5 Pokemon that should have a Mega Evolution. Now I'd like to advise you on two things here. I have a cold and I'd like to thank two Deviant Artists. Now the first one is called Dragonith and the second is called Pokaluka. Now I'd like to thank them for actually giving me permission to actually use their artwork and I do advise you to check the description and just look at their galleries. I do like Pokaluka's fake decks and fake region. He has the region called Naizu. Naizu, but I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. But it's kind of like desert based. I guess he has some kind of Egyptian looking Pokemon. And I do like Dragonet's small comical sketches on Tyrants. I find them very amusing. And I do hope that you both check both galleries out and profiles in general. I cannot say how much I thank them for allowing me to use their content because it is amazing and it's very hard to find very good artists that are independent and aren't influenced in any way. So let us move on to the actual video. So at number 5, I have a Pokemon that should be on freaking everybody's freaking list because this freaking Pokemon needs a freaking mega freaking evolution. Freaking. Okay, so the Pokemon is called Sableye. Now this art is from Dragonith and Sableye is a, I could say, average Pokemon of the third generation and when I saw it, I fell in love with it when I saw it in Pokemon Emerald. I really have to say, this Pokemon is quite cool. I do like its design, its original design, but the design created by Dragonlith is also pretty goddamn cool. I like the placed gems, I like the, I could say, three horns on its head. I do like it a lot, and its grin does have a scary touch. I do hope that Pokemon might do an event with Mega Sableye like they did with the Torchic, which then had the Blaziknite. When you evolved it into Mega Blaziken, you'd have a nice Pokemon. And maybe we'll have the same with Mega Sableye or any of the Pokemon that I have on this list. So the next Pokemon is a first generation Pokemon called Farfetch'd. Yes, Farfetch'd, one of those Pokemon that never got to see the evolution screen. It's quite sad, really, because I like the design of Farfetch'd. They could do so freaking much with it. It is just one of those Pokemon that have a great, could, you could say, base, but the actual artists, you know, didn't think of a new evolution or just couldn't be bothered because the game developers didn't agree. But hey. I personally believe that a Mega Farfetch'd would be awesome. Flying and normal is not the greatest type matchup, but maybe they could turn it into something more cool, maybe a psychic and flying, you never know. But the design is pretty goddamn cool. I do thank Dragonith for supplying this pretty goddamn cool Mega Evolution art. At number 3, we have one of my favourite Pokemon. It is called Bisharp. Mega Bisharp? Just look just look at the artwork. Do, need I say more? Need I say more? Freaking Samurai Armor and the blaze on its arm. Wow, amazing. I love the artwork. And if Pokemon would have a similar artwork design, oh my god. I mean, Samurai Pokemon? Every, every other Pokemon just, could just go home, even the fighting type Pokemon that normally would destroy Bishop could just go home, they could just, you know, throw the freaking black belts on the floor, you know, sock and throw. They just say, nah, nah, screw this, I'm not fighting a Samurai Pokemon. Make a Bisharp, everybody. Make a Bisharp, Nintendo. Do it. So, at number two, I have one of my favourite 5th gen Pokemon. Again, and I just missed spot number one, which is kind of annoying, but Pokaluka had a great vision on how a Mega Kofagrigus would look like, and I do agree with them. A Pokemon coming out of its coffin, wow, that is one awesome idea. I do think that Mega Kofagrigus should have this kind of design, if it should have a Mega Evolution. I personally love this 
design, I like the idea, and I think Nintendo should take this idea and actually use it and give some credit to Pokerica. So at number one, a Pokemon that you'd probably think. Mega Arcanine. Oh my god, I love Arcanine's design. I had it in my Pokemon White 2 post-story adventure and was probably my favourite Pokemon in that playthrough as well. But not just that, the armor pieces on the Arcanine are just amazing. I love the design that Pokaluka thought of this, and it does fit to Mega Arcanine, it really does. We've had pretty cool Pokemon Mega Evolutions that look awesome, but I think nothing fits the design of Mega Arcanine better than Arcanine. It's just the proportion is amazing. I liked how Pokaluka showed this with the flames and the armor pieces and the collar. It just looks so majestic and royal. It looks like it has this kind of like Chinese, Japanese old touch, just like Bishop had. And I do like the design, it's just amazing, and I want one now. Make an event, just make an event, Pokemon X and Y, Nintendo, Game Freak, just do it, and please. Please do it now, I want it, I want it so bad. So if you made it till the end of the video, I'd like to thank you here and please leave a like and comment on which Pokemon you think should have a Mega Evolution. Now I'd like to advise you once more to check out the description, check out the DeviantArt channels or you can say profiles and galleries just to see what you think fits to the Mega Evolutions more, you know, the design, the proportion between the regular Pokemon and its Mega Evolution. I think that both artists, Dragnif and Pokaluka, had this great feeling and had the right feeling on designing these. I do thank them both once more for their permission to use their content, and if you want to do some kind of video like this and use their content, I would advise you to contact them because they are both very friendly and also have a great artistic talent. So yeah, I do thank you for watching and I hope that I'll see you next time.